doing big things out here, folks. Lighting's probably trash, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking now, but Western Nebraska trip. Day three starts now. We are headed east three hours, so we're not going to be in Western Nebraska. We're going smallmouth fishing. Folks, we are, well, I don't know where we're at, but we're here, I guess. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the scenic drive as much as I did. It's raining. That's sick. It is raining. Um, we can't do a whole lot of fishing in the rain. Well, we can. We can't do a whole lot of filming in the rain as I'm drenching my camera as we speak here. Um, we're going to try to hopefully wait out the storm. It should be cooling off here within the next half an hour to an hour, I would, I would hope. It's been raining the entire drive here. But hopefully this, I mean, the fishing should be good. The fishing should be good. Fishing during the rain is good. It's just filming, filming in the rain is not, not so bueno. But boat trucks ready to go, getting gas in it. We're fishing the river for smallmouth. You guys saw me catch some smallmouth on the Barbie pole not too long ago. And on some corn fritters with Ben a few videos back. But today we're going for actual smallmouth. For those of you that didn't pick up on my sarcasm, let's catch some bass. One hour later. Here we go, folks. Rain has pretty much finished. It was about an hour, literally, we sat in the truck and just watched watched the river flow by as we're eager to go catch some smallmouth. But uh, it, I don't know, it may or may not continue to rain, but it's just one of those things where, you know, you just gotta send it. Just gotta send it. Wow, this river is ripping. We got about between five and eight inches in the last day, so we should hopefully catch some smallmouth. Coming around that yep, there it is. There it is. There, there is. he is, baby. <laughs> oh, baby, my first, my first one. It's a decent, it's a decent smallmouth. Yeah, buddy. Right where you're supposed to be. Woohoo! Look at that brown one. Yes, son, on the top water too. That's what we came here for, right there, baby. Nice Nebraska small jaws on the old top water. This is nice. Although it's rainy, it has made it so we can fish top water in at you know 1 p.m. So there we go. First, first one. See, buddy. Yep, there we go. It's a little guy. Little guy. Oh, he came off. Now we're moving, folks. Headed to spot dose. I caught a couple. Ben caught a couple. Not bad, but no, no giants. So we're gonna we're gonna go find another spot that looks something like this. There he is. Yep. There we go, boys. There's another one. Giant. That's a flare fish right there, boys. It's okay. You got to weed through some of these guys to catch the donks, okay? So don't you guys be hating on me. As I basically killed that fish. Ben, hold Ooh. that hold that thing up. Let me see it. Let me sh show the folks at home what we're after here. Right there. Giant bronze wand. For here, that's a good here, one. A we're one. not fishing in trophy smallmouth waters here. We're fishing on the world's fastest river. So... Yes, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yep, come on. Stay pinned, baby. Stay. Yes, dude, that's a good fish. Yeah, I kind of want to net this fish. I don't want to grab it with the treble hooks. Dude, that's a good freaking smallmouth. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Don't rip out, folks. Don't. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Come on. Right there. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. There we go. Nice one. Oh. Whoa! There we go, baby. Right there. Nice 
river smallmouth. Again, we're not fishing for absolute freaking giants, but here, that is a good fish. Woo! Right there, baby, finally, finally. I know this isn't completely giant, it's not like my PB or anything, but for here, this is a big smallmouth. See you later, Lucy. Woo! There Lucy goes, folks. Finally, finally. I have no idea how I got so lucky when I caught that fish. One treble hook, he caught a big one. Just, oh, that was all luck. All luck right there. Definitely should not have had mine dragged so, so tight, but that's good. We are still fishing kind of the same stuff. You guys can see it's just lots of rocks and docks and we're throwing these, I'm throwing a little chug bug, like a little, little chartreuse, not chartreuse. Yeah, kind of chartreuse and orange. And Ben's throwing just kind of like a more natural walking bait. And so far they're both working. We've tried tubes, can't really get the big ones on the tubes. The big ones seem to be a little bit more keyed in on the top water. I and mean, where'd you say we're going after this? If this, once we're, we're fishing we're this? We're going way up to the top of this. And down there. Maybe hit some large mouth water. And we might go for some large mouth. Yes, we're, we might go up there yeah. for large mouth later. Uh, Cause we're like, so we're on a river and it's like sandy. There's all those out there. Those are all, those are all, uh, Sand, sandbars and stuff like that. So sometimes they'll hide in the, the current ditches and is that the proper term? Sand, sand drops, something. It's either, regardless, I'm gonna quit talking cause I need to catch some more fish. But thank you guys for tuning in to this fantastic smallmouth episode. Boom. There's one. Oh yeah. Look at him just freaking, he's not even hooked in the mouth. Pretty, pretty beautiful fish if you ask me. It's a fish, I mean, I think, but that was on, again, the chug bug. That was a carp, wasn't it? Uh, some, maybe, I don't know. We well, folks, I tried fishing a tube, I know. Well, I shouldn't say top water's getting boring, because if you guys think top water's boring, then you should just not, I don't know, do something else with your life, because obviously you have not fished top water the correct way. But I did try the tube, just to mix up baits, because I know you guys get tired of watching me catch fish on the same lures over and over and over, but we can't get them to bite anything but this. And, on top of that, that yeah all that that's that's nice that's nice stuff that's coming right for us giant storm so we waited for a storm to pass and we basically are doing an in-between storm challenge right now we didn't know that that's what we were doing but that's what we're doing got it got him got him, okay. got him. hooked up it's actually not bad get in here buddy <laughs> Yes, dude. Pre-storm frenzy going on. Wind is starting to pick up. It's about to get real nasty, folks. But we're gonna we're gonna do some little bass destruction in the meantime. Yeah, get it up. Oh, there's one. Yeah, baby. Woo! Come on, get in here, buddy. Ben just missed one. I just caught one, folks. It is starting to rain. It is starting to rain. This is. Oh, there you go. Another baby. Another baby fish. Another flare fish. But folks, we are taking it right now. This is some of the most intense bass fishing I have done in quite some time. Just really trying to hurry up before we die. So, there's one. Not a bad one. Not a bad one, baby. Bad one. Here it. we go. That's a decent fish. Not bad. Look at the different colors of these. Some of these are light. Some of these are dark. So cool looking. Another one, baby. Power, power five minutes. I was gonna say power hour, but we are nowhere close to having an hour of fishing left. Oh, we are, we are, we're gonna get hit, I can already tell, folks. We're gonna haul back to the ramp. Hopefully, this camera doesn't get ruined. A few moments later. We are back, folks. Storm's still brewing here. We uh, had a nice big old rainstorm come through, and uh, there's a little window. I think it's gonna pick up again later on in like an hour or two, but we're gonna try to get the boat on out fishing, and uh, hopefully catch a few more before the second storm rolls in. If there is a second storm, we are not sure. Hopefully this wind noise isn't too bad, but the weathermen suck here. They pretty much suck everywhere, but they, they mainly suck here. So we're just gonna go fishing until we basically cannot fish any longer. Oh, get him! Oh, he's got it, he's got it. He was just- on there, he just can't pull it under. He can't, he just can't. There we go, folks. That's what we're after. Drove all the way here for that fish right there. Oh my gosh, this is big. 
We are gonna try to tuck away from a storm here. Check this out, guys. Oh, yeah, yep. Oh, yeah. I know some secret spot. Look at that, found a little, a little hidden gem here, folks. It's like a little lake, we got our own lake. Hot head and he doesn't think before he does anything. No, no. What the hell? It didn't Dude. even. I didn't even feel it on. It just jumped. It flipped. It jumped. Like a bass? Yes. Dude, that was like a five pound slide. I know. What the hell? Oh my god. No, I. I didn't feel a single. I didn't feel anything. That was freaking huge. That was giant. One eternity later. Well, as you folks can see, we are not on the water anymore. Had to cut the night short. Fortunately, we've got some technical difficulties with the boat like literally just it randomly shut off the trolling motor did so we're not sure if we blew a fuse or breakers or whatever you know obviously i'm not boat expert ben's ben's a little bit more expertish than i am but we're gonna basically try to pick it apart and get it figured out before tomorrow because tomorrow we are headed to a, another lake to kind of wrap up this journey that we've been on so we're and it's a lake that i've never been to so it's kind of, I really want to fish it. So if we can't fix this trolling motor, probably not going to be able to happen. So wish us luck as we try to diagnose the problem here. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was very fun catching smallmouth. I have not done that in about a month. I went to South Dakota last time. This was totally different. This was like ripping river. Good time out with milk and fishing. Go check out his channel if you have not already. He uh, puts up fishing videos. Yeah, believe that. Crazy, right? Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching, and peace.